When I came into yeshiva, I felt like it's a new yeshiva, I'd be nervous, but I felt like I was part of the chaver right away. The bachrim are warm, the bachrim are accepting, and since the first day I came to yeshiva, I felt at home. One of the things I was nervous about before coming to yeshiva was whether or not I would click with the ilam. But Baruch Hashem, within the first week, I knew everybody by their first names. The yeshiva has a unique balance. The bachrim feel cared for and comfortable, but at the same time accountable. As soon as you come in, the feeling of achdos, the feeling that the Rebbeim are always there for you, and it's just a warmth that you can feel. From the moment I first met the Rosh Yeshiva, I was just drawn in by his varmkeit and understanding. One of the things I felt when I first came to Yeshiva was that the Rosh Yeshiva was fully dedicated and fully believed in about her success. The yeshiva in the last eight years has grown leaps and bounds. This great siyata d'shmaya is all due to the mysterious nefesh of the yeshiva. The Bacharim are fortunate to have a yeshiva that cares enough about them to demand that they work hard to become real b'nei taira and stay real b'nei taira even after they leave the Kaisle Beis HaMedrash. The Rebbeim are the heart and soul of yeshiva. They are true mechanichim. They deal with each Bachar, both as an individual and as part of a klal. Each bachar can find which rabbi he feels best comfortable speaking with. When I first entered the yeshiva, you're still settling into the yeshiva, so you don't know what to expect, but right away, you see the yeshiva, it's there for you. Every bachar is unique. Every bachar is special. The rabbim help every bachar reach their individual potential. The rabbim are tamidi chachamim in every sense of the word. No question is too big or too small, whether it be in learning or about life. The rabbim hear about the bachar. I've always heard it's important to have a Rebbe, but over the past few years, I have begun to truly realize what it means to have a Rebbe. Someone you can confide in, someone you can trust to guide you towards the life that you want to live, and is a connection that you want to keep forever. I truly feel Rebbeim placed an emphasis on providing us with the tools and the skill set to learn wherever life takes us. Learning in Yeshiva the past three years have better equipped me to keep a Torah a big part of my life. The yeshiva provides a, a feeling in you that you want to learn and you're going to retain that for the rest of your life. The Bacharim have the opportunity to build a long-lasting relationship with their Rebbeim. These Talmidim hold on dearly to the yeshiva and their Rebbeim even after they left the Kais Lebe Samedrish. They come back to join in Shiurim and other occasions. It's wonderful to see some of our alumni come back to learn on our base Medrash during Night Seder to continue their learning wherever they live. There are a few people that have a special impact on the Bachim. They are the Kalyangalite. Every morning they come in happy, eager to learn, and they really set an example of what a true Ben Taira is supposed to be. Our Chabura of Yungalite and Chashav Bachim have a very deep understanding of the Sugis, Rishenim and Achreinim, with an unbelievable clarity. The role the young light play in the Hatzlach of the Bachram cannot be overstated. Daily interaction with those whose Tairasam is umnasam is invaluable. They themselves are products of the yeshiva, real-life examples of what should be, and perhaps more importantly, with hard work, what could be. It's a true pleasure to watch our young Kailu and our older Bachram fighting and arguing and learning. There's a real risk of the Arisa in base Medrash. The older Bachram, the young young light, being Malab in Asara, setting an example for the younger Bachram. When I come to Bismarck and I see the older Bachram learning, I feel like one day I could do the same thing. One of the greatest things, seven hours with Cephas, everybody was involved, and we kept on going. We have a lot of Chavir in Baruch Shem that we learned together. We had Chaburas, we learned by Chavrusa, and it was an amazing feeling. Whether it's be Ian, be Kiyos, with the first year bacher or with the fourth year bacher, the learning is always geschmack. In Shabbosim, Tannersville, the Chalet, Shavuos and Camp Morris, the summer upstate, there's nothing quite like what Yeshiva arranges for the bacher. The perfect balance of Ruchnis and Gashmias is the recipe for a Malbasin bacher. The Shabbos that Yeshiva spends away, like the Chalet in Tannersville, brings the guys together and it's very, you know, achtas and it's warm. When you spend Shabbos away, you always make you feel like you're part of something. It's a time for the Bachram to recharge, for Bachram to go away in a relaxed setting, and when you come back, you come back with a brand ready to learn and steig more. There's always something happening, whether it's 
the football game or basketball game. All the guys here are like one big family. The area around Yeshiva is a quiet and relaxed neighborhood, which really gives you the Menucha Sanefesh needed to learn. It's a place where you could always feel welcome and the warmth. So, thank you, Rebbe. <laughs>